Arkansas border. So have your first cup of coffee. minutes. Oh. Well, you could come along too. No, I'll leave the ritual of hunting to the men. I think I'd cry if I actually shot a deer. Well, there's more to it than that. Well, you know that. Besides, you know, I just don't get to do this very often. Why don't you come along? The guys won't mind it. Besides, Al's got this brand new Bronco and he's just dying to show it off. Oh, yeah? <laughs> no, I think I'd much prefer my nice electric blanket to sleeping on bumpy, frozen ground with campfire smoke. Yeah, but then you won't have my warm body to keep you nice and warm. Oh, I guess I'll just have to manage. You better hurry up. They're going to be here soon. No time for that now. Your daddy's going to be here any minute. <laughs> Thanks. You're such a tease. You have a good time. I love you. Later, get in the car, David. You better get comfy back there. It's going to be a long ride. This baby's got it all. 454 engine, everything. Your daddy here thinks it's just a big toy. Uncle Al's got himself a tank here, David. With this, I can go any place I want to. Why are we going this way? Oh, we gotta get Ralph at the airport. Said he might be bringing us some new blood. Son of some rich client of his. I know it's usually just the four of us, but Ralph said this guy's really hot to do some hunting. and gear. <laughs> you know, I sure hope this new guy knows when to shoot and when not to, David. I mean, everybody today that gets a gun and a license thinks he's a goddamn deer slayer to shoot anything that moves. Your brother invited him. Hi. I'm David Rand. Oh, Montiano. Nice to see you. You boys have a good flight? Yeah, it was smooth. I slept most of the way. I only hope this thing rides as quiet. <laughs> hey, Marty. Mason. He's going to watch out for you this trip. Hey, man, no problem. I know how to handle myself. Look, I'm responsible for you. I know these woods better than you do. Dave knows them better than me, and Mason knows them better than everybody. So? So what's the difference? I've hunted in Canada before. There's no difference. 
Ralph will turn human about three this afternoon. So, uh, Marty, how many deer you knocked out? Maybe two dozen, maybe more. Well, that's good. That's real good. No chance of you getting buck fever then, huh? Hey, no chance at all. That's good. See, guns don't care who they kill. I've seen men's chests blasted open by other hunters. I know what ignorance can do. Yeah, well, you ought to. <laughs> Take it easy on the guy. His daddy's a big-time attorney. Works with my East Coast people. Got me real drunk last night. Hey, you guys can set your minds at ease. I, I gotta tell you, I've shot mule deer and elk both. Well, Marty, down here, you don't drive up and start smoking away with scope-sided guns. We kind of stock them. You gotta know what you're doing. The way we hunt, without dogs, takes some kind of skill. After all this bullshit, we better be good, buddy boy. We will be. Get in here. Now we're going to see what this baby can do. Seven days and seven nights, your thoughts start to go. And everywhere you look, that old wind starts to blow. The snow turning back and your future is black. The only thing you know is sure is this pain in your back. What gun do you bring, Dad? Over and under. Hey. Oh, you're using double odd? No, I'm using number one buckshot. Marty, I don't expect more than 50 yards between us and any deer, so the spread out won't be so bad, you see? Uh, what are you shooting, Marty? 300 Weatherby Magnum. I told you just bring a shotgun. Magnum blow a fucking elephant out of the woods. Yeah, well, hey, I I'm a sucker for big noise. I mean, when that mother goes off, they there's something that gets started. I, I don't know. They it's something. I It's something. I... Yeah. Well, I got an extra shotgun you can borrow, kid. Ah, hey, no thanks. I, I dig my weather big. Every night, when the moon comes over your shoulder, you can feel the fire. Come and come and come and go. Now, I'm just getting a little antsy, I guess. <sighs> Relax, Ralphie. Take a nap. <sighs> what a bunch of deer hunters we are. We got rich man, poor man, doctor, lawyer, and an Indian chief. Who's the Indian chief? Oh, Mason. Oh, you're full of shit, Ralph. Well, I'm packed. Of course, now our rich man here is fat pockets here, my big brother, self-made man. I'm going to ream your butt in a minute, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> well, these road trips bore me. I'm just trying to amuse myself. I'll bore you all right. <laughs> my brother, the wit. Of course, he never mastered the complexity of toilet training yet, did you, big brother? <laughs> so who's the poor man? Well, I can't be you, little rich Yankee boy. So I guess that's uh, gotta be me. Somebody's gonna do it. Oh yeah, with a new Porsche and a new Sesta. You're really poor, aren't you, Ralphie? Poor in spirit. Poor in spirit. So then you're the doctor? The intern, not doctor yet. So where are you interning? The city Med Center, emergency. Looks too healthy to be a doctor, doesn't he? Yeah, I bet you get a lot of stabbings and, and uh, rapes and gun wounds and things like that, huh? Oh, yeah, Marty. It's better than TV. <laughs> I love TV. Uh-oh. We're going to have to stop for gas pretty soon. Al, you got enough gas for World War II. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Just help me look for some place to stop. Yes, sir. Be just a second, Dad. I gotta make a quick call. Oh, I gotta stretch my butt. It's flat as a pancake. Oh, feels good to stretch. That's good. Hello? Good morning. It's me. <laughs> David, why are you calling? Are you okay? Oh, sure. Darling, I love you. I... Melanie, are you all right? Uh, no, I guess I, um, I just have no weird dream. The phone woke me. So this place that we're hunting in, is, uh, is it as good as they say it is? Best you've ever seen. Private land? Well, it is now. See, my company leased it last spring. It's a hills, bottom lands, buku square miles. It's a, a big chunk out of the county, and it's right on the Arkansas line. 
It's just swarming with whitetails and rednecks. That's posted land. Posted. That's for people that can read, but rednecks. <laughs> Listen, I feel sorry for any redneck I find on my land. <laughs> posted shit out. Hey, listen, I've got a terrific idea. Why don't you meet me down here tomorrow night and we can finish what we started this morning? <laughs> meet you where? It's Toby's gas stop. It's the first joint you come to uh, off of State Route 190, east of Springville. You'll love it. Beautiful place. You're crazy. Wait, wait. Hold on. Let me get a pencil, okay? Hold on. I'll borrow Al's truck. I forgot. Forgot what? Brew. Oh, there's a beer joint up ahead. We can get some. A redneck beer joint? No, Chinese. Hey, hey man, I have never been in a redneck joint. I, I, it must be fascinating. That's an experience. Uh, yeah, they eat Yankees. Yeah, that'll be $22. Dad? There's no turning back once you cross that line. Don't be the one that's left out at the scene of the crime. here, little brother. Oh, you're not going to get beer in here, are you? Marty, do you, do you see any place you ain't beer? Man, this is Park Avenue. <laughs> oh, I got your little barbecue going. Oh, it sure looks like a little old boy's cooking it right there on the grate. Disgusting. Sure in a foul mood, Ralph. I'm going to check on that meat and then see about getting us some beer. Yeah. Would you look at that, man? Primitive. What an image, man. It's like like savage and weird. Uh, that's not such a great idea, Marty. It's fantastic, man. Hey, I, I wouldn't do that, Marty. These old boys might not appreciate it. What, what could they do? I mean, wait till the guys see this back in New York. These guys look like they're something out of National Geographic. Marty. Marty, look at that. You trying to make one of them yokels mad at you? Sweet baby Jesus. What's the cloud coming over here for? What y'all want with my picture? Good question. I ain't done nothing to you. What you want with that picture, I see. It doesn't mean any harm. How come he don't answer? Struck dumb. I can say that. Look at this one. What does he want? Look, he's a he's a city boy, you know, with a toy. He just he kind of plays around with it. Well, I ain't playing. Why don't you go back to your dogs? You Yankee talking son of a. Hey, really? He doesn't mean no harm. It's all right. He didn't take your picture because there isn't any film in this camera. You see? See that? There's no film in this camera. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on, I say the beer's inside. Yeah. Oh, scumbags, I don't deserve a picture taken. Just one beer, and then we split. Come on, Ralph. Come on, hell, I'm fine right here, big brother. Chicken shit. <laughs> nice place. <laughs> Is it still 1932 down here? to a redneck bar. Uh, Schlitz, the only beer y'all carry? 
I said, is uh, Schlitz the only beer y'all carry? No Schlitz. We got Bud. Bud. It's the only kind, buddy. Have that voice get in that chick's body. Bud's okay. Sorry. Yeah, for whatever you got and for nuts. Nuts? Beer nuts. Yeah. Uh, you better forget that. Uh, just this beer is fine. It's okay. I'll be sure and skip what we ain't got. <laughs> we don't get many nut lovers. Well, dollars. Three dollars a beer. Goes even, don't it? You want me to pay it? No, no, no. Uh, what about some glasses? You afraid them cans gonna cut your pretty lips? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we go back and drink in the Bronco? Ah. What's your name? Bobby. Bobby, what? Bobby. Springsteen. Springsteen? You kin to Bruce? Yeah. What kind of kin? Cousins on my father's side. You lying. Hey. I don't lie. You ever see him much? Who? Bruce, fool. Who else? Now we get into fights. Shh. I sure wouldn't fight with Bruce. <laughs> How come y'all fight? We fell out over a girl. She good looking? Look like you. To a team. Really? The way you favor her pains me to recall. Hey, you tell now. Come on, you gotta tell me. You look too much like Julie Kay. She the one Bruce wanted? Mm-hmm. But I got her. No shit. Y'all get married? Mm-hmm. And we wanted to. Had us a mobile home all picked out. I was working chainsaw part-time, saving up for that color TV set. And then I heard about this big dirt run down in Louisiana. Yeah, it seemed like they answered all our dreams. So I got the old Camaro tuned up. Bruce give you that Camaro? No, I wouldn't take things from a kid. <laughs> and there I was finally. In the big final round, a chance to win a thousand dollars in cash. I was revving. And I was revving. And what? What happened? I was revving real high when that damn flywheel blew, came right off like a hand grenade. It shot right up through the shield, right up into the stands where my Julie K was, cheering. That damn flywheel, that thing that hit her right thing here, right? That's right, we're here. Hey. What'd Bruce say? <laughs> City cocksucker. We got a case of beer to go. Hey, Woody. Woody, I gotta serve this here big turd. private club. We don't allow just anyone in here. You know, we didn't see any signs saying so. Well, me and my buddies here, we just don't act natural with uh, any soap scum what spreads itself on our bar. Although, you all look real uh, nice, and we was thinking how much fun it'd be to, uh, well, party with some real fancy shit kickers like y'all. By God, I hope so. 
I sure hope they can party real good. Well, I'm sorry. You know, it uh, sounds like fun, but we've got some traveling to do. Sorry. Well, you don't know what sorry is. This party doesn't cost you 50 bucks already. So you might as well enjoy what you already done spent your money for. Yeah, ain't that right, big ass? Bullshit. What's the matter? Ain't 50 bucks reasonable? Lord, but probably ain't even got 50. Hey, you. Hmm? Yeah, you. Ain't 50 bucks reasonable? I'll tell the big guy. Well, if we pay, can we leave? <laughs> <laughs> I know he's chicken shit. <laughs> yeah, he, he's a Yankee, too. You hear what he talks? Uh, well, now, uh, Tracy here, if she ain't included in your 50, that's gonna cost you more. Not them. I ain't doing it. Not for 200. Yeah, that should go for 100. Of course, we'll take guns and shells and trade. That's a trap, Bubba. Uh, don't. No, this isn't money. Now, uh, you guys wouldn't know what this means, naturally, but see, that's that's my picture there on that ID. It means I'm a deputy sheriff up in Oklahoma, but uh, I'm gonna take it easy on you guys. I'm sure you're really a bunch of good old boys. Big pig belly. <laughs> Big nothing pig belly and damn car, too. <laughs> Better watch your mouth. Ooh, he gonna try to scare the piss out of you, Woody. <laughs> we need four six packs to go, please. Hey, asshole, we get fifty out of each of you. Get the beer, girl. No. Yeah, and you better be quick about it too. Man, I'm going to cut you deep. Why don't you do that? I'm going to make you cry. Shit, Baba! Get the beer. Give me the beer. You done hurt Woody. Get up, I'm a bastard! You gotta act bad, that's Woody. You better learn how to handle yourself. Now let's go. You all ought to cut him like deer. Let's get in the Bronco. Move on in there, get in there. Let's go. What are those shitty grooms about? What's so damn funny? You should have seen. Look behind you. Thank you. Shit. Let's see what this baby can do, Al. What the Sam Hill is going on? We're going to ride. Whoa! Whoa! Al, guess we're coming loose. Suck him in. Get them now. 
cowboy. Waving at it. Same to you, Wave sucker! Oh, be damned. Yeah, you ought to be. You can really drive this thing, man. Well, I guess they knew they didn't stand a chance four wheeling with us. This looks like a good camp spot. Braid nod. Son, this is where the adventure begins. Well, just take it easy, you idiot. Ralph, just hang on to your tight little bug. <laughs> on your neck. This is something else. What did I tell you? There's not another hunter within miles. Al, I'm telling you, if I damage a kidney on that ride, I'm going to sue your ass for one of yours. I'm not kidding you. Unless I get my deer in the morning. What you need is a booze-proof liver. Give me some of that. Gambling man, bring your fat wallet over here. Quit making love to that piece of iron. Bring that big mouth and that money here. Now I got to teach you a lesson for that gut busted ride this morning. Oh damn it! First we're gonna eat. Now, these are even good enough for a big time Memphis lawyer like you. What? Get it out of my face. You guys want to do some tracking? No, no. Y'all go ahead. I'm going to stay here and take some money from these big-time attorneys like they take from their clients. <laughs> Look at all the pretty presidents Brother Ralph he brought down here to give to me. So what are we playing? High ball, low ball, <coughs> jack's high, pig in a blanket? What the hell's pig in a blanket? thinking well i'm thinking it's a shame they got to rip this stuff up into two pigs and plywood but al bought it this company owns it so that's the deal mm. that's the trouble with everything it all has a price oh come on man you don't come on you don't believe that do you remember that first hunting trip i took i was about 10 years old remember oh yeah i shot that sparrow with one shot then when i rushed over to it and found it lying there in the woods feathers were all matted with blood yeah, you cried like a baby. I mean, we had a funeral. We had a, we buried the whole thing. I remember. Yeah, but you, you showed me an important lesson that day by not interfering. But there is no honor in the act of killing. No. Maybe that's why I save lives now. The killing is not a part of hunting. I mean, it's a part of hunting, but it's not none of what I like. I like the stalk. You know, that's where it's really at for me. The skill of the stalk. Remember that first deer I killed? And Uncle Al was so pleased. Horses. What the hell are they doing? Let's wait here and see.
they think we're poachers, I bet you. Hold it. It's close enough. How are you doing? I did not stay far enough. What are you two up to? You all lower them shotguns. We'll do the same. Is that a deal? You boys got your licenses? Yeah, you know, we just tell your hot buddy to get that pistol out of our faces. Better watch him now. now. Shut up, Lincoln. He asked if you got your licenses. Yep. Here you go. Uh, we look like criminals, do you? Yeah. Don't know what criminals look like. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm Buck Harris. Yeah. Don't mind him. He's feeling a little puny today. Y'all down here alone? You got a camp with others? Uh, I got a camp down there about a half mile. Three fellas waiting for us down there. Let's get going. What are you two so nervous about? We ain't nervous. Shit, you ain't. Nobody but you're all dumb enough to come down here to hunt. You better haul your ass before dark. Some vampires come out here at night? Damn. No, but you might find some two-legged bloodsuckers. There's a whole bunch of them living wild down in these woods, slaughtering venison and selling them some big hamburger chain. Bass is probably cut more than 50 tons of deer meat out of these woods. Yeah, and there's a bunch of them just to us. You boys better clear out. A lot of people come a-missing hunting down here. I mean, folks in X County won't even come down here at all. All right, all right, you warned them. Let them tend to themselves. What the hell was that about? Damned if I know. What was all that about folks coming up missing down here? I don't know. Those boys were sure spooked about something. Think there's anything to it? Maybe. Maybe. I'm out. That's it for me. I thought you were a big time poker player, Marty. Well, next time we'll play big time. Good night. Anyone want a beer? Yeah, I'll take one. David? That one here we came by before, was it? See how that... There's one of your boot prints there, under that other print. Could be Alice Ralph's. I don't think so. Here you go up. Why well, didn't our camp has feet this big? Look. He stopped here, see? No, sink, sink straight down in there, that's set apart. Damn. He looked this over all right. How can a sane man play with a stupid, imbecile, loudmouth brother doesn't even know the rules, doesn't know how to play, doesn't pay attention? Brotherly love is so tender. Come on, Ralph, don't be such a crybaby. Well, there's nothing worse than a stupid fool with a little luck. Are you talking about me? Is he talking about me, Marty? Hey, listen, uh, you guys got a couple of wands. We're going to pass the hat. <coughs> Poor old Ralph here. <laughs> you shut up and play poker. <laughs> oh, come on, don't worry about it. You can always make a loan. <sighs> You know, your problem is Mama lets you suck too much. Oh, well. So did you guys find some great trails? No, there's no trails out here. It's too wild. Yeah, you're not lying about wild. You guys should have seen those two game officers we ran into. You're talking about strange, man. <laughs> game officers? S strange? Uh, how? They drew their handguns on us for one thing. Well, it could be first-time wardens. Oh, uh, trigger happy, you know. They talk about poachers down in here, stuff like that. Yeah. You must have heard all the stories. What stories? You know, the kind of stories that the rednecks tell each other when they're gathered around a campfire at night, getting high on their own battery acid. Weird stories. Well, let's hear it. When I bought this land, my agent told me all kinds of things that, uh, local people had told him stories about a tribe of wild men who live here in the woods men you no know, more like animals some say 
they're escaped convicts. The others say no. It's some strange, inbred, barbaric tribe of savages who lived their whole lives here deep in these woods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, redneck legends just tickled me to death. I was going to save this for later when it was dark and we were really drunk. Sorry I had to use it all up now. That's like unreal, man. Are you saying that there are actually people living out here in these woods? Well, that's what the rednecks whisper. There must be something to it. I, I mean, most legends have a basis in fact. A basis in bull, but they believe it. You know, I can't even get a local crew to come in here and clear this land as much as they need the money. I have to send clear down into Clark County to get a crew. Well, I don't think I like it. What's the matter? You think the boogeyman's going to get you? Tell them about the footprints. The footprints? Any of you guys go over to the creek last hour, hour and a half? Uh, I didn't think so. Well, I wasn't going to mention this, but we found some fresh prints about 50 feet over there. Someone, a big fella by the size of the prints, uh, walked along the edge of the creek, and he stopped there and watched. He just, just looked at you. We didn't see or hear anybody. Yet, uh, they must have seen us, and uh, they didn't come up and say howdy, huh? Uh-huh. My, my, we are getting mighty skittish, aren't we? It's me, I'm just calm as that me. <laughs> Ralph, you're acting like a cub scout on his first overnight trip. <laughs> My gun. You know, now if I just had a nice piece of ass, my night would be complete. How about that bitch back at the beer joint? Yeah, that'd be nice. Yes, ma'am, she does burn good. You know why I like hunting? Keeps you away from your wife. <laughs> <laughs> that That's one good thing, but no, it's like a... It's like a cross-section of life, you know? It's like your brains and your balls against whatever's out there. Oh, boy. Here we are out in the middle of nowhere, hunched around a fire. Well, I've got me a nice, warm bed, complete with woman and TV just waiting for me at home. Some people say I'm crazy. Well, I don't blame you, kid. A little lust makes life worthwhile. Yeah, I guess love's not too bad. But I mean, a man's got to feel his balls. I don't know. I think you'd rather scratch him. <laughs> I mean, this is deep stuff. I mean, when a man gets... Old enough for his pecker to stand up. He needs to go hunting. Oh, uh, you got away with words. <laughs> you know, the, the act of hunting brings out a rapport with a certain forgotten part of you. Yeah, killer part. <laughs> ah, nah, come on, Ralph. I mean, is this good or what? I mean, I could stay in a place like this the rest of my life with buddies like you. Yeah, if you had a restaurant and bar and a whorehouse out back, you might last a week. <laughs> oh, now, God. little Ralphie, you be nice. <laughs> I'm going to stick you with this. Put it in, Ralph. Wait a minute, hold it. Hey, God, now we know you're out there. There's no use hiding. I hope you're listening. Now, we want some good killing tomorrow. Do you hear me? Al, sit down. Hey. Here. <laughs> Have some pepperoni. You know what I want to do? What? I want to slit wrists and mingle blood, and then we'll be blood brothers. Oh, come on, you're going to cut somebody. Come on. <clears throat> you guys ready for the thrill of the night? Uh-oh, is that the killer weed with the roots from hail? Mm-mm. Thank you. A little music? Marty, what did you do, bring your whole apartment with you? Hot damn, I'm hooked. 
Marty, turn that off. Come on, that's enough. Bring in the city out here in the woods. Turn it out. Marty, come on. Turn it off. Mason and David split. Oh. I heard something and I woke up. Jeez, if I get a headache. Who's gone? Mason and David. Did you hear that? <laughs> That's just Mason playing boogeyman. Al? with the fire? You boys all out here hunting? What do you guys want? Talk some more. We already said hello. <laughs> <laughs> you boys from around here, huh? Here, let me help you up. Excuse me. <laughs> that is a pretty truck. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> you farted. <laughs> the hell going on here? Well, what I want to know is where they done hid the pussy. Maybe they is the bree what can abide female poon ten. <laughs> sure hope so. That one's the one I want. <laughs> Fellas, would you mind just just move on downwind? Just move on down. You know this is a posted area, didn't you read the signs? Posted signs no mean buzzard shit. These woods belong to them that holds them. Well, you and Marty kick their stinking ass. Go on, kick their stinking ass. Them boots is what I want first. Them boots is what you're not going to get. Nice gun. <laughs> Pull the trigger! We gonna get ya. You assholes get out of here while you can. You see, uh, we meant no harm. We tank got a gun between us. Well, uh, we'll be getting along. <laughs> 
Good idea. Come on. Good idea. Good idea. We're gonna get you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Pick up a few bars of that Irish spring next time you're in town. What stink? Yeah, you just will cripple you for life if you come back here again. These are my woods. Well, your woods is full of maggots. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Think we should stay? Yeah, I mean, I didn't drive 200 miles down here just to turn around and go back, did you? I mean, what are we worried about? I was just about ready to make my move before you came in. We sure showed those shitheads, huh? Yeah, sure we did. I mean, those slimy bastards kicked out my fog lights. Forget about it, Al. We got deer to hunt. Come sun up. Mm, sure smells good. Hey, Marty, you hungry? Yeah. I, I like my eggs poached. How are you feeling? We stayed up all night. Oh, terrific. The entire German army slept in my mouth. They all had dysentery. But we're just eating and go out and get some beer. Oh. Eggs aren't going to be ready for a while. Will you put that down? Come on, let's go on. Uh, well, what do you think, pal? You having any fun on this trip? Oh, man, I'm having a great time. And the guys are so great, and your brother's so funny. It's so different from the places I take in New York. Yeah, listen to that. What? Peace and quiet. Boy, it sure beats a stuffy old courtroom, doesn't it? Mother Nature. Why would you want to leave the courtroom? I mean, my father says you the best. I, I wouldn't want to leave. I wish my father thought I was the best of something. Anything. Water sure woke my picker up. Sorry, I just... It was my dear. Did you hit him? I think so. 
Well, then you track him, Hotshot. Take this other deer. Not for you there, Ed and Marty. That buck could be wounded. I mean, he could run off and hide behind some windfall and die. He could die very slowly. In a rot. Do you think that's right, Marty? No. All right, then I guess we better get after him. Said, butchering them for him. Bench. That's why we haven't seen more than one deer. These fuckers been in here butchering them. Yeah, but I know who. Listen, I think we better get back to the Bronco and notify those game wardens. Sweet boy. Yeah, you in the coat. Let's get out of here while we still can. You know, hump your ass, boy. Let's get out of here. Shut up. Well, all the little chickens come home to roost. <laughs> Just the luck of a handsome man. Let's crawl their butts. Which one gets the red-haired one? Well, I can take care of Grandpa. <laughs> I do relish this one. Mason. Don't touch him. What's he mean? Oh, you'll find out. He's mine. If you want him, you gotta take him from me. What are you doing? Oh, wait, wait a minute, Joe. We can settle this logically here. There's no need for violence, Mason. Just if one of your off. chicken shits wanna fight me for him. Are you crazy? There's other ways to get out of this. Hey, you wanna fight me for him, shithead? Yeah, come on. Which one of y'all uh, wanna take him on? Hey, I gonna be taking on, Grandpa. Jesus. Where'd him, Snake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give him a whooping, boy. Get him, Snake. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. 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 Which one of you sons of bitches wants to die first? It's your all's pleasure. Some folks like you can't keep up with the likes of us. We can squeeze the trigger as easy as you can. All right, Joe, just hold it right there. Come on. Come on, put it down. They're going to kill your ass. They're gonna gut you alive. Turn on them guns. Let them take us, boys. There's another way to skin a cat. There's got to be more carcasses around here somewhere. We got more than we need. We'll have these bastards put away by tonight. They'll be in front of the judge tomorrow morning. They want to press charges. 
You can follow us back. No. No. We came down here to hunt. They're okay. Man, must be some real diehard hunters. If you want to stop in on your way back in a few days, it's fine. Enjoy your hunting. I think you earned it now. Obliged for your help. Come on. Get on there. You ain't nervous. Just 10 to 12 miles of timber between here and the road. Whoa, well, all chained up. <laughs> we really took care of those mothers, didn't we? You ain't shitting, we did. No, it's all right, son. I'm all <laughs> Gentlemen, spoils of war. I just disinfect your mouth a little bit. You're not going to drink that, are you? When a man needs a drink, he needs a drink. Burn the hair off your tongue. has a problem. Well, hurry up. Something ain't right. Take this to your daddy, it'll make him feel better. Is it cold? Cold in the well digger's ass, son. That bastard really wanted to hurt you. Yeah. yeah I wanted to hurt him, too. I just uh, lost my temper, David. Yeah. That's a damn good way to lose your teeth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, oh, man. I don't get you going, boy. <laughs> what did you get on the CD? Nothing but static. I guess we're just too deep in the woods. I, I want to say something. I want to apologize for the shot that I took. I mean, uh... I'm sorry. Fuck fever. It can hit anybody. Yeah, you got that right. Well, uh, we're gonna beat the brush some more today or just call it quits? Hey, I'm ready for another chance. Yeah, you might get lucky this time, Ralph. Well, this time, let's do it right. I don't want to chase another buck all afternoon. <laughs> hey, Ralph, man, I I'm really sorry. I... It's already forgotten. I should have told the truth up front. I've never hunted deer before. You could have fooled me. Okay, now that we've all kissed and made up, let's go hunting. Yeah, and, and I'm buying. <laughs>
Mason. Mason. Then we're screwed. Thank God we are. They're gonna kill us, man. We're all gonna Shut die. up, buddy! God damn it! Now, how long since the warden stick to poachers out here, David? Three hours? We gotta get out of here right now. There can be any place around here. Listen, Ralph, if they knew where we were, we'd be fighting them right this minute. I mean, it's not all bad if we handle ourselves and don't fucking panic. Look, if we can get back to that Bronco, I can get us out of here. No. They're probably hitting the camp right now. They're not gonna let us out of here alive, Al. They can't do that. I thought this was over with. It's just beginning. We gotta get some wheels. No, no, that won't work. It's exactly what they'll expect. No matter what we do, man, they can ambush us. I say we go across country. They won't be expecting that. It's 15 miles to the highway. Well, what if they're waiting in that direction, too? That's better than going back to the camp. Yeah, he's right. David's right, Ralph. Look, you wanna go it alone, it's okay. You, anyone else wants to go with him, it's all right. David and I, we're gonna head for the highway. Well, what about him? I don't touch anything. If they know we've been here, they can track us. No, no, come on, Al. We'll not leave a man done this way. Come on, let's get this over with. What are we gonna do if we run into these guys? Kill them. Get rid of that jacket. They'll spot you. But it could be cold tonight. Be cold or dead. Take off your camera. Put it 
on motor drive. We gotta leave some kind of distraction here. We can't leave. We gotta stay here and wait for help. We can't stay here. It's just us and them out there. We gotta move. We can't leave Ralph. We can't leave him like this. We gotta do something. He's dead out. Now help me by God or I'll leave you two here. Sir, is this uh, Toby's guest up? Mm-hmm. What you been eating, ma'am? Well, nothing. I'm uh, supposed to meet some friends here. Oh, you got friends in these parts? No, they're uh, deer hunters down from the city. Look, have you seen anybody driving a red Ford Bronco? I sure have, ma'am. They're five of them hunters, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah they're, they're real friendly fellas. We had a few beers together the other day. Uh, are you going to meet him here? Yeah, just one of them. Well, now, that's possible you might not see him. Why not? Well, that Bronco they're driving is stuck up to the floorboards down at Blue Creek. Well, that's where they camped. Yeah, they're going to need a, a Caterpillar tractor to pull them out of there. Great. So I drove over 200 miles for nothing. Now, ma'am, I, I know where they camped. It's real close to where I'm going, and, well, I'd be real happy to take you there. It's, it's hard to find by yourself. They're real nice fellas, and I'd like to help. I bet they'd really like to see you again. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Well, (laughs) won't they be surprised? They sure will. (laughs) Okay, great. So, um, when are you leaving? Right now. Great. Okay, so, uh, what should I do with my car? Just leave it here. It'll be fine where it is. Okay. Well, thanks. I really appreciate this. All right. Now they must have found Ralph. Yeah. That means they'll be coming after us next. Okay. Listen to me. The moon's in the east. You follow it, it'll take you straight to the highway. I'll decoy the scum and it'll give you a chance to get Mason and yourselves out of here. Give me your knife. You're gonna make a litter. to stop the external bleeding with the compress. There's no way I can stop the internal bleeding or prevent shock. If you don't get him to a hospital, he'll die. Nathan? Al, all my life I've looked up to you, big man. You never let my father down. I know you can get him to safety, man. I know you can do it, man. Just follow the moon, man. Just fall like hell, man, okay? Just don't let my father die. Get out of here.
It's okay, Mace. We're right here. Hey, we, we better keep moving if she's gonna make it. Okay, then let's go. Got Mace. Anything. Sounded like a train whistle far off. This way you be coming. I go to have a little piece of your heart before I done. You look like you're gonna be mighty tasty, Yankee. Where them others? Huh? They hiding out there yonder? They waiting for a signal? Huh? I said, where them others? Hey, you know that be pretty boy's gun? Hey, hey! you get that, huh? I found it 
woods. I found this in my cousin Tull's body. And I figure you just know who you belong to. Mm. I just wanna return back to it. This can't be yours. I told he would have ate you up, Yankee. Come on, dance, fool! Dance! Hey, you just better get to talking to me. I ain't gonna take no more than what is my share, huh? That just be fingers and toes. Now, pretty boy, he done uh, wants your balls. And I'm gonna do that for him! One. You fetch it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Fetch it. I should have given time playing this game. How does that feel, you son of a bitch? Find me a fucking monster! You wait till old Red Bear sees what I got him. You do know what we do to Bucks, don't you, boy? Huh? heading towards a railway track on a highway road. I say we catch him there. Those going to settle. That meat truck done come and we weren't ready for it. Before we come back, we better have our meat pack before it rots. Bastard Woody promised me some girls this time. You better call me a few. My other one lasted me three months. If you feed and water your gals, they'd last a mite longer. I just want them bastards that killed Tom and Bertie Boy. Bertie? Yeah. Yeah. We gotta go back the other way, man. They're gonna be between us and the railroad. We can't. There's nothing back there. We gotta keep moving to the sound of that train whistle. Oh, what if they catch us? I mean, we can't fight them all. You're not gonna let us down, are you? You're okay, kid. I wanna be, man. I wanna be strong, but I, I never was. I hurt so bad, man. I'm so fucking scared. Listen to me, you little snivel ass. I got a dead brother out there. My best friend's lying here in the dirt. And his boy's out there. Maybe dead or worse for your ass and mine. So don't talk to me about hurt, you hear? I can't help it, man. God damn you! Go ahead, hit me, hit me back. Come on, hit me back. Oh, come on, you see? A little hurt's not gonna kill you. We can make it, okay? Oh, listen, listen. We can find we're going to be the best drinking buddies in the world with you and me and Mason David. You know, okay. Okay. <laughs> How far have we got? I don't know. we got to get moving. I think they're far enough ahead of us now. I think David's out there? Oh, sure, David's out of there by now. 
Perfect law is probably on its way in here right now. Oh, David, he's probably sitting in some sheriff's office, his feet propped up on the desk, sipping a brew. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> I'm sorry, too, kid. I'm sorry, too. I'm okay now. We're gonna make it, Marty. You and me and Alan. We're gonna make it. Come on, let's go. Hang in there, Mace. We will make it. Now, what's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Well, Redbeard's gonna take more than that. That's why I'm keeping you alive. He wants you pretty bad. Hey, Buck! You want this gal? Oh, she'll do you real fine. You see, we all trained her real good. Besides, we got a new one now, and you're gonna like her. Well, you see what we got up here, Buck? Get up here! Come! Look at here what I got, huh? Get out of here! Look at this, Buck. We got us a city gal. Look, what do you think of this, huh? Oh, God. Now, you take a good look! No, God. You take her in and you tie her city ass up. Oh! See, all my brothers ain't even seen her yet. They're gonna like what we got here. <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Buck? You still kicking? Little Buck still kicking? Well, you just kick all you want to, because you ain't going nowhere. At least not till Redbeard gets back. And then... Come on, gal. Got a reward for you. sweetness for myself. You know what? You gonna get to watch. Omar, you put the barrel of that shotgun right on his backbone. He so much you make a twitch, you cut him in half. So you go ahead and make your move, city boy. Because I gotta make mine. <laughs> Now you're gonna get a whooping, boy! No! Yeah, I'm gonna kill no! all you myself! No! Oh, God, you're 
I'm so sorry. <laughs> Take a might bit longer to die after we done use her up. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get you, boy. I'm gonna get you.
Every day 